This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch. Andrew Crispin here at CES 2011. We just had to come into the PowerMat booth. We're sitting here chatting with, we're actually standing here, but that's okay. We're standing here chatting with Scott about PowerMat, kind of the, the, the thing, that, the company that really enables like wireless charging, the first ones that really kind of made it actually accessible to consumers. That's right. So what do we have here? We have some aftermarket docks that we can use in our car. Tell us a little bit about that's this right. one So this one is a car charger that you would buy um, for $59.99 at you know, uh, a number of retail outlets. Um, uh, all across the country and you'd put it in your car and it essentially lets you wirelessly charge inside your car. So now we don't have all those, we don't have extra wires dangling, one coming out here plugging into our USB port and all that kind of stuff. This is a terrific um, car option that we're offering, um, but we have some more exciting car stuff um, that you, wireless energy that is directly embedded within the car. Oh, we're gonna have to take a look at that. We'll have to take a look so at that. So there's different, are there different models for different phones or there are we just are, dealing with, there okay. are. Power Mat is uh, model specific so that you can you know, power up just about any um, smartphone or any device um, without wires. Very cool. Now I see over here. We're gonna we're gonna make uh, Matt kind of earn his pay today. He's okay. gonna have to follow us over here. Well, this is exciting. This is pretty cool, actually. And First let me off, tell I you why. Sit down, which is is terribly exciting. Which is terribly exciting, especially Whoa. here at CES. Yes, indeed. Um, one of the most exciting things that we're doing now is taking Power Mat and putting it into a variety of settings. So I showed you that car charger. But so now we're, we're driving to the airport. We're charging up our car or right. our phone. Yeah. And you know, we just announced the deal with GM General Motors to put wireless charging into all of their cars. Very cool. Which is very exciting. That is exciting. And we announced another deal to put wireless charging into airports. So the company's name is Arconus. Okay. And they're based in Canada. And this is a typical um, two-seat um, airport seating facility. Right. Right. And let's say you come here and you need to power up your phone. All you'd have to do is go to the power mat access point drop your phone on it and you can see it charges right away. Very nice. Yeah, and these will be in 130 airports uh, nationwide. Very cool. So now we can actually charge our phone. This is really nice. I, we, anytime you go to the airport, you always see people, you know, like the, at those charging stands, plugging in their That's phone, right. standing there for 10 minutes, trying to kind of wait for that. No longer will that be the case. Now, I've always said, that what is really required for, for wireless charging to actually take off, right? It's a yes. great concept, yes. a great concept, yes. um, but you, you you know it can't be you know big bulky cases yes. and you know limited limited access. So you're really trying to kind of answer that, and you know we're really seeing power mass starting to actually happen in a lot of different well, that's, places. That's right. And from the time that we launched in October 2007 until now, which is really about 15 months only, mm -hmm. we've been able to minimize the bulk of our technology um, to the point where you would, wouldn't even know that your your smartphone has wireless technology built into it. You can, I don't know if you can see how thin that is, but what you essentially do is replace the back of your phone, or this one even is even thinner. Replace the back of your phone with um, a power mat back, okay? And what's great about this is that it's so thin now that it mimics the actual back door that comes from the manufacturer in terms of thickness, in terms of look, in terms of feel. So the aesthetic on this is really, really nice. That is nice. Now you guys are open, of course, to uh, partnering with with cell phone manufacturers and get, actually getting your technology embedded. We are, and we announced a deal today with Qualcomm, uh, or I should say uh, a, an LOI, so a letter of intent to right. actually um, look into embedding our phone, our technology, and Qualcomm's technology into phones to create some sort of a standard. So Qualcomm, you know, a little company you might have heard of. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, really. So the fact that they're so huge, for us this is a great step forward that we can actually make a standard, embed PowerMet technology right directly into the phones that Qualcomm, you know, they're the biggest chip maker around. Yeah, absolutely. And Chances are um, if you have a cell phone, you have some kind of Qualcomm component. You have some component kind of Qualcomm yeah. component. So it's a terrific deal for us. Today's a great day for us. We announced GM, we announced Qualcomm, we announced Arconas, which is the airports. And now let me show you that we're also going to be in office settings. Let's go do that. Okay. So this is GM's Chevy Volt. Okay. We've seen this. Yes, it's a very nice and, car. Ah, but I'd love you to come inside. Welcome. Welcome thank to you. my brand new Chevy Volt. Thank you very much. It's a lovely What's, car. Thank you. Thank you. We try to keep it clean. What's most exciting about this is that all of the um, access points have been wirelessly enabled in the back and in the front. So I take my BlackBerry here and I just simply set it down. 
and you can see it's charging directly through the console. Very cool. So like I said, I mean, th that's always a frustration for me. I always have wires snaking all over the car, right. especially with an older model right. car. Obviously, this one's right. brand new. Uh, but you always have wires snaking all over the car. I mean, anytime we can get like a wireless charging solution where we can, you know, get out of the car, our device is fully powered up, we're ready to go. That's a good thing as far as I'm concerned. Very good. Now let's go check out the office furniture. Let's see if we can get in there. Typically in your offices, right, you come to work and you need to charge up your phone. You know, what we're trying to do is um, make as many um, consumer friendly at, um, areas right. um, in your life as possible. So we show you the airport, you come from the airport, you rent a car, you go to work, right? Here at work, this is what a typical workstation now looks like, except that it's been wirelessly enabled. So you take your device, you drop it on the access point, and it charges directly through the table. So now we do we have uh, charging in this desk lamp here? Not only that, but we also have an array, a, a, a line of furniture that incorporates wireless charging. Like you just said, this desk lamp does that. And so the base of the desk lamp becomes an energy hub as well. Very cool. And I see this little cubicle fixture over here. This is another, another wireless charging. Except that it's not no, there you go. There we go. These demos never never always go quite the way we, we right. expect. So now, where are we going for more information on PowerMat, all your new partnerships, all the great products that you guys right. make? Right. You can go to PowerMat.com. Okay. Um, and we'll have all that information up on our website. Fantastic. And for prices, links, everything we discussed here, hit the show notes on Buttersauce.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch.